What's going on YouTube? In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to free up some space on your Apple Watch. If you've been finding that your Apple Watch is somewhat sluggish, or you're getting notifications that you're, when you're trying to install new apps, there's not enough room on the watch, you might want to check out some of the steps below so you can try to manage the space and storage on your Apple wearable. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching. The Apple Watch comes with up to 32 gigabytes of storage, and while this may seem like a lot, it can be quickly filled up by things like new music, podcasts, and of course your apps. And as new and better apps are constantly coming out for the Apple Watch, you might find yourself in a position where you want to install an app on your Apple Watch, but will get the not enough free storage space notification error. Storage can be an issue if you're trying to update your watch as well, with the latest version of the watch OS being substantial in size and you won't have enough space to install it. To start things off, what you want to do is to check how much space you have left on your Apple Watch. There's actually two ways of doing this. You can go through your phone or your watch to check the amount of available storage that you have left on your watch. To do so on your Apple Watch, what you want to do is to go into your app tray, go into settings, then go into about, and then scroll down to the bottom until you see capacity and available. Here you can see the total capacity of your Apple Watch in case you didn't already know, and see the amount of available storage that you have on your wearable. Alternatively, you can check the amount of storage available through your iPhone. What you want to do is go into the watch app on your iPhone, tap on general, scroll down and then find the usage tab. Here you can see which apps are using the most storage on your wearable. And it also displays the total amount available and the amount used on your Apple Watch as well. So the first step in freeing up memory on your Apple Watch is to go through the list of apps here. You might be surprised just how much memory some of these apps use on your Apple Watch. If there's an app that you don't use quite often or are wondering what it's doing on your watch, you can quite easily remove it from the app tray. So to do this, what you want to do is first identify which app that you want to remove on your Apple Watch. Go into the app tray. It's a lot easier to do this in list mode. Once you have the app that you want to delete, press down on the app and then drag it to the left and you'll notice an option to delete the app from your Apple Watch. You might be surprised just how much available space you can free up by doing this for the apps that you don't use too often on your Apple Watch or for apps that you might be wondering what they're doing on your watch in the first place. The next biggest culprit for taking up storage on the Apple Watch is usually music. In order to remove music from your Apple Watch, what you want to do is to go into the Watch app on your iPhone. Tap on the My Watch portion at the bottom part of the menu, and then scroll all the way down to music. Here at the top right of the screen, you'll see the edit button, and you can use the edit button to remove music that you have on your Apple Watch to free up some extra space. So there you have it everyone, two relatively quick tips on how to remove and free up some extra space on your Apple Watch. A lot of people run into this program as a lot of apps are available on the Apple Watch, and of course you don't take into consideration just how much space you have left on your wearable when installing these apps. So what do you think? Are there any other ways of freeing up space on your Apple Watch? Leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.